Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. I get this question asked all the time. Why I list drafts instead of actively listing? Stay tuned. I'll tell you why. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the shop. I am Chris, the old school picker go around estate sales, yard sales, flea markets, wherever I can find stuff for cheap, buy it, list it on eBay, and hopefully sell it for a profit. That's what this channel is all about. If you're into that type of content, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And speaking of going to estate sales and thrift stores, I bought a ton of stuff this past week. Not sure if you guys have seen the video. I'm going to do a haul video more than likely about all this stuff but uh i don't know if it'll be out by the time this one comes out or not i've not even filmed it yet anyways i get this question asked all the time why i am listing drafts instead of actively just listing i'll talk about that uh topic uh, uh here in just a few minutes we do have some orders to pull i have been uh watching a little bit of Corey over at grams and pops vintage do a little member spotlight here so if you have not checked out Corey over at grams and pops vintage uh go check him out and tell him osp sent you he's creeping up on the old thousand subscribers he's got 659 i would love to push him over 700 Corey is a great guy and uh, doing well. So go check him out if you have not already. Uh, speaking of drafts, uh, did finish the week once again with 10 listings out of the draft bank every day last week. Well, Monday through Friday for a total. And I did fall short of my $200 a day goal a couple of days. But uh, all this new stuff should take care of that for sure so i ended the week a little short of my thousand go 50 for 976 but like i said i've got this week and a couple of days in january today's january 23rd at the time of filming this so i will i'm trying to get four thousand and uh whatever that would be 400 i guess i'm trying to list 200 dollars a day 50 items a week so and today's a, a perfect example of why I use the draft bank. We're going to talk about it in just a minute. I know I've done said that, but we got some orders to pull. Decent weekend, not great, not horrible. 14 orders going out for 4.15.08. And the first one going out is a decent one. I actually just sold this early this morning. It's pretty cold in the shop this morning, by the way. And it's one of these sci-fi magazines. I've still got a few of these left. I think it's this one right here. And it's on the flipping TX shelf. So I sure do appreciate it. And as I said, I still have a few of these um, science fiction magazines. I sell one every now and then. But when I first got these, man, I made so much money on these. So, And anytime somebody sends me a best offer, if it's halfway decent, I will usually accept it just because I'm ready to get rid of them. And I've had them for a while, but they were good once upon a time. I mean, I paid 40, 40 or $45 for like 80 magazines. And the very first one sold for 80 something dollars. So I doubled my money on the very first one. Anyways, Amazing Story, Amazing Stories Quarterly. This is from fall of 1934. 1934. Wow. That's a little bit older than Kevin. Anyways, Amazing Stories Quarterly Pulp Fiction Mystery Adventure Magazine, Fall 1934. This one, I did take a best offer on it for $19.99 plus shipping. Good deal. All right, I have totally got to get to work because this is my shipping table. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to be shipping on this table today, which is not a big deal. I do use this table to ship on every now and then. All right, next order going out is up here. And it's two of these Smurf, Smurf, Smurf figures. It's this guy. And this guy right here. If I don't knock them all over. Oop. And once again, it's a viewer sale. So I appreciate it so much, Bobby and Jill. 
and they left me a note that said, hey there, love your YouTube. We have dabbed with eBay for the last several years, but we are trying to take it more serious this past year. We are from North Alabama on Highway 127, so that's pretty cool. But also, I seen this the, uh, when you guys ordered it. This is awesome. But they're also near the 411. Well, there's a big sale on Highway 411 every year, too. I went to it twice. I didn't go to it last year. But So they are really close to the Highway 127 and the 411 sale. So that's awesome. Uh, hope to see you out there one day. I've been collecting Smurfs since I was little. I don't have these two. Thanks for all you do, Bobby and Jill over at Lick Skillet Pickers. I absolutely love that name. So thank you very much, Bobby and Jill. Lick Skillet Pickers. Lick Skillet Pickers. That's such an awesome name. Lick Skillet Pickers. But if you are close to the 411 uh, and you're in Alabama, go check out Courtney, Colton and Courtney over at CK Treasures on YouTube and tell them OSP sent you. Good friends of mine and... Both years I went to the Highway 411 sale down in Alabama. That's where that's the, where they live is the area I went to and we picked together for several days. So go check out their channel and tell them OSP sent you. And uh, they actually have a retail shop too. So if you're ever in their area, but go check out their channel and they'll tell you all about it. But anyways, this first one going out is Hot Dog Smurf. Vintage Wiener figure, 1983, Payo, I think is how you say the company that makes these. PVC, Toy, Greedy Hungry, the Smurfs. Anyways, this one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And then also Painter Smurf, Painting Artist, Rare Vintage, Red Brush figure. He is awesome. He's not got a red brush. He's got a yellow brush. Yeah, he's got a yellow brush instead of a red brush. Anyways... He sold for $6.99 plus shipping. And yes, I will combine the items and send you a shipping discount. But thank you very much again, Bobby and Jill over at Lick Skillet Pickers. Such a fun name to say. Thank you, guys. All right, next item is in J15. Okay, it's not in a sponsored shelf, but we'll talk about Cooper at Up Cycle, Arizona. So I appreciate it, Cooper. Cooper was one of my first members, and maybe even the very first. I'm not sure, but yeah, I appreciate it, Cooper. I, I do have some figures in here. Actually, I've got action figures in so many different boxes. I've got to do an inventory soon. I, I've got to do it before spring, for sure, because... I uh, got to get these uh, boxes and shelves consolidated a little bit because I'm sure I will be bringing in a lot of new inventory. And this is an action figure and he's pretty decent. He's super, super, super awesome. I love him. He is 1989 Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles General Trag and he is complete. And... I would have thought he would have been worth a lot more money since he is complete. He does have the figure, obviously, and both weapons. But even complete, he only sold for $14.99 plus shipping. But that's still pretty awesome. And he came in the huge action figure haul I had last year. So I have less than $0.50 cents a piece in these guys. So $15 bucks plus shipping. He's awesome. And man, he's clean. He is a good looking figure. 15 bucks plus shipping. I just noticed in the bag, he also has his knife. So he has three weapons. So man, always check your bags. If you're putting them in baggies, make sure you put all the weapons with them when you ship them. If they have a lot of weapons, I will usually ship them in the bag and then put the whole bag in a box, obviously. But 15 bucks for that guy awesome deal all right this next order is probably i think my cheapest order going out for the weekend but it's the order i'm most excited about because why it is one of these denim day home interior figures and i think it's this one and it's on the stephen j 78 shelf so thank you very much stephen 
I sure do appreciate you, my friend. I've had these home interior figures forever. And yes, this should be the right one. It's C7, G3 shelf, C7. So this should be it. I'm not going to take it out because it's already packed up. Although I'll probably open it up and pack it a little better. Anyways, home, home co, denim days, home interior figure, puppy love, Danny figure with a puppy dog. Very cute, very cute. And this one sold for $5.99 plus shipping. So glad to get rid of this. It's Kathy time. Can't be an old school picker without uh, some stamping up, crafting stuff. I said uh, crafting up in a video the other day. I don't know if any of you guys called it or not, but instead of stamping up and craft stuff, I said crafting up. Shannon just looked at me and rolled her eyes. But uh, it's some of the 6x6 six six paper, but I'm not sure. Let's see, I'm not even in the right box. That, that could amount to something, right? All right, I think I finally found it. it took me a second. Uh, designer series paper, 6x6 six six paper, and this is a sampler pack. So I guess it's just got a bunch of different papers from other packs in it. A sampler, right? And this one ended up selling for $9.99 plus shipping. So thank you very much, Kathy. All right, once again, it's Kathy time. Uh, got a few going out today, Kathy, and I would pull them all at once, but, uh, can't remember once I get back here what all I got to pull. I barely can remember one, so I know I couldn't remember more than one. But uh, let's see here. It's gonna be this one right here. I thought this one was actually really cool. Clearly, whimsy stamps, and this is like hashtag Florida strong. So I don't know if they came out with this after a hurricane or what, but uh, it's just a bunch of stamps. Florida strong, stronger than the storm, uh, palm trees, crabs, a little girl playing on the beach, an alligator, uh, super cool, super cute, and uh, if I remember right, there was none of these listed, so I just kind of listed it, what most of this type of stuff sells for, and this one sold for $14.99 plus shipping, so thank you once again, Kathy. Yep, you guessed it, once again, it's Kathy time. Let's see here. Two, two. It's going to be one of these cut and emboss floaters. I apologize if it's dark back in here. Kind of gets dark in this corner. I think this is it. No, that's definitely not it. Cut dies. Is this it? I don't know. We'll have to see. And yes, this is for sure it. Stamping up pets dies pet cutting and boss dies uh five piece set brand new sealed i get questions all the time at least once a week sometimes two or three times a day people wanting me to open these to show them their dies and i'm like uh no <laughs> they're brand new sealed use google if you need to because i'm not opening them they're brand new sealed just not opening them maybe i should and show the dies but then, is it brand new sealed? I don't know. I've not. And I've not had any trouble selling them. You guys know. Anyways, this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So thank you once again, Kathy. Alright, we will pull one more. And then we will talk about our topic. And I4. I believe it's that one right there on the front. Yes. Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> uh, Blu-ray set. It's not sponsored, so we will talk about the Sharon Chef. So, Sharon, I sure do appreciate you so much. And like I said, Blu-ray, anytime I see Blu-ray and they're brand new sealed, this one is sealed, and they're a buck, I'll pick them up, especially if it's like anime stuff type stuff. This stuff's usually pretty decent. Uh, it's not super valuable by no means, but uh, so, you know, so... Had a dollar in it, and I sold it for $7.99 plus shipping. Easy to list and easy to ship. Eight bucks plus shipping. All right, why do I list drafts instead of just dropping them to active? I had that comment uh, several times over the last few weeks, and I want to address it. And 
I, like I said, I've had that question asked a few times, but the last time I had it, a uh, sale in a ham basket over on YouTube said, you're going to have to do a video about why so many drafts are saved. I have a different opinion on it. To me, if it's not listed, it cannot sell. So a hundred drafts should equal two sales if they are listed, question mark. And then Nikki Sticky 007 commented, replied to that comment, I'm new and this draft method confuses me. I do see that I get more sales when I post new listings every day, though. Still trying to understand. And I just wrote back, I will make a video about this soon. Well, here is the video. So why do I use draft the draft method instead of just dropping those items into active listings? Well, today is a super perfect example of that. So I thought that I would make that video today. At the time of filming this, I had 170 items in my draft bank. Now, why would I have all those items in my draft bank? Uh, I could just go on there and drop them all to active listings, right? And that would be 170 items I listed today. That would be great for today, but uh, chances are I might not get to list tomorrow. So I would put up 170 listings today and zero tomorrow. So I'm trying to get that draft bank built up for several reasons, but the main reason is to provide consistency on listing every day. I Right before I filmed this part of the segment, it was around lunchtime, so I went on there and dropped my 10 items for today because look around. I'm not going to have time to list today. I've got to make uh, this video. I've got to edit two videos. I need to make another video about a haul video and edit that. So that would be three videos that I need to film and edit today. So I'm not going to have time to list today. So because I had those items in the draft bank, that gave me a chance to get some active listings up on eBay today, even though I don't have time to list. Now, a few days ago, I had plenty of time. I didn't do any filming. I didn't do any shipping. So I had plenty of time and I listed like 25 items. Well, I could have dropped those 25 to active for sure and been like, yes, I listed 25 items today. But then uh, for two or three more days in a row, I didn't have a chance to list any. So is it better to have that draft bank to where you can drop 10 every day and have 10 every day or whatever the number is? Or is it better to list 25 one day and then not list for three or four days in a row? Well, to me, it's better to have that consistent number every day. I want to get my draft bank built up over 200 and I will drop 10 a day even on Saturdays and Sundays because right now I'm just dropping 10 a day on Mondays through Friday and another reason and I've not talked about this at all but another reason I am doing this last year I took uh, I took like zero time off away from the business I did take some time off in December just because of the holidays but I really didn't take a whole lot of time off and enjoy <laughs> What we've worked so hard for, as most of you know, we just recently moved about, well, it's about two years ago now at this point, and I've really not got to enjoy living where we live yet because I've been so busy trying to get my business built back up. So if you get a bunch of drafts in your draft bank, you can take time off and still drop 10 a day, 15 a day, whatever your number is, and take time off. And, uh, you can, I can take, uh, if I'm dropping 10 a day, I had 170 in my drafts. That means I could drop 10 a day for the next 17 days without having to list anything. So my plan is to get that draft bank built up even more. And that will allow me to keep dropping those 10 a day. But this spring, this summer, when the weather's nice, it's going to give me free time that I don't have to be out here working but the business will still be rolling because I've still got active listings being dropped every day. If I didn't have that draft bank and I took two weeks off, then that would be two weeks because I did it in December of last year. 
And I took like three or four weeks off from listing and guess what? My sales went down the tubes. So this way you're basically building in vacation days is the way I look at it. Uh, a lot of people has done this for years and I've always been like you guys, why would you have them in the draft bank when you can have them active? Because they're not going to sell in the draft bank because guess what? Nobody sees them. And then I started watching some other people talk about the drafts and I was like, yes, that is what I want. I want to build up some uh, vacation days, days I can take off and go fishing. The spring and summer days that I can go yard selling all day, all day and not have to worry about getting home and in time to list items. Because guess what? I will have already had those 10 built in and I can just drop them. It took me five minutes to drop those 10 just then. So, and for a total of $231. I do have some better inventory sitting back here behind me that I'm going to start listing and putting that stuff in the draft banks. And uh, that will just be in the mix as well. So I'm not saying people that don't do drafts are wrong. Because if you have the time to list every day, then why would you? If you have a couple of hours every day set aside that that's your listing time uh, and you can drop, you can actively list 10, 15 items in those few hours every day, then by all means, I would do that. Uh, and that's how I used to do it. But as my life has seemed to get gotten busier over the last few years, I'm struggling to have enough time to list every day. Some days, like I said, I'm listing 20, 25, 30 items a day, but then I might not have time for the next three days, four days to list. So I want to just put them in the draft bank. They're safe. They're secure. I mean, as long as eBay don't delete them, right? Don't let them get over 45 days. And um, that way they're there for a later date, right? They're there when I need them. So that's why I do it. You guys are not wrong. Do it how you want to. But, you know, if you're asking me, that's why I do it. Number one, consistency. And number two, built-in vacation days. All right, let's pull some more orders. And as I said, I just dropped 10 more today. So uh, I've got you guys here. We'll update the momentum board. So there's my 10 listings today. It took me about five minutes to drop those 10. And I'm not going to have time today to actively list. But I still got my 10 because I had them in the draft bank. So it's working great for me. All right, this next item's pretty cool. Uh, he's a pretty decent figure too. I6. And we'll talk about Behold and Resold over on YouTube, Instagram, and eBay. So I appreciate you guys. And uh, we've got a few good sales coming up actually and this is one of them this is a vintage 1980s g1 transformers now uh g-n-a-w figure he is not complete by any means i don't think but uh and he does have some condition issues but if this figure was complete and in great shape he is a really good figure but he's kind of i don't know what he is really but he's a transformer. I don't really understand transformers, but you can see he's a bug, but he also has a head. So he is a transformer and he does have some weapons, a little gun. And there's one of his arms and there's one of his arms. So anyways, Gnaw figure. And he ended up selling for $29.99 plus shipping all right next order is a good order too we have uh let's see j3 right here tamarantula's treasure over on ebay so tamarantula be sure to appreciate it it's two of these vintage uh looney tunes shirts buyer messaged me and asked if i would take any cheaper on them i said which ones are you interested in and they told me they were interested in two and i said well I think I had them listed for 30 or $35 and they were wanting them for $20 a piece plus shipping. And I said, no, <laughs> but I said, if you will buy both of them, I will take 25 each plus shipping. So I did give them a little bit of a deal, but they bought two of them. This one right here was probably my favorite of all the Looney Tunes shirts. New with tags. It is on uh, Sherry's Best. 
whatever that is sherry's best tag extra large but roadrunner coyote wiley coyote and roadrunner trucking company that deal oh it's awesome i love that shirt i should have kept it and wore it anyways that one like i said so for 25 bucks plus shipping and then also they bought this one this was not one of my favorites but they wanted this shirt bad and it is a uh, Wiley Coyote shirt with Roadrunner on the back. Once again, new with tags. This one is on a Signal Sports. Extra large. Very awesome. And these are from 1994 and 93. So, vintage shirts, right? Single stitch. I believe both of them are. So, yes. And once again, like I said, 25 bucks plus shipping. Total order, 50 bucks plus shipping. 62.80 so good deal and a lot of that's taxes like five bucks of that's taxes so told him i couldn't help him on his taxes that was on him but told him i'd do 50 bucks plus eight dollars shipping so 58 dollars for my part all right next order going out is a die cast i think what i'm gonna do with a lot of this train stuff is take all this stuff here and move up here change the skews because it's just like five pieces so and it will definitely all fit on this top shelf so do a little rearranging i'm gonna have to the shop is a mess right now anyways sunny side 1955 chevy 3100 step step side and for all you chevy lovers that is an awesome awesome looking truck this is a 24 scale uh most of them was 118 scale but this is the 24 scale and this one ended up selling for cheaper one $12.99 plus shipping all right we've got three more orders going out so i gotta pick it up this video is long anyways it's one of these batman figures i always have to make sure i pull the right batman figure so i have to pull the listing up anyways vintage laser batman action figure 1992 dc comics batman returns complete he is complete with his laser and that is a rocket you push this button and it shoots and this one sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And the old M2 shelf is doing good today. And uh, this guy right here is going out. And this is a vintage G.I. Joe figure. He is Mutt. He is, that's his name, I believe, Mutt. And he is part of the Slaughter's Marauder's Junkyard Dog. I don't know. <laughs> anyways this little dog figure here gi joe sold for 10.99 plus shipping and the last order we got going out is g24 which once again is kathy time so kathy i appreciate you so much it's one of these stamps and cutting embossed die sets a photopolymer stamp set and the matching cut and emboss die set so anytime i put them together they are really good there's the stamps here is the fluttering die set and this set here sold for 35.99 plus shipping so thank you so much kathy all right so that is my orders going out today thank you so much kathy uh got a ton going out today like four different orders and thank you so much bobby and jill your smurf figures are going out today awesome sale there i don't think the science fiction magazine was a viewer sale but they did leave me a note so timothy if you are a viewer i sure do appreciate it he said hi i look forward to receiving this issue thank you but i think it was just him leaving a note uh so that right there and this right here is why i do drafts because today i don't have time to list i've got to ship all this stuff go to the post office i need to come home and make more videos i need to edit videos so if i didn't have that draft bank guess how many items would have got listed today zero goose egg right so the draft bank really helps me stay ahead on my listings or at least stay on target with my listings so if you're having trouble and having shortage of time to list but you have two or three days a week where hey i can go in and jam out 20 and 20 a day for those two or three days you might want to think about saving some of those for drafts 
I don't know. It took me 20 years to come to that realization that uh, that's the way to go. So, <laughs> but we all learn sometime, right? It's working great for me where I'm at right now. I may go back to doing it the other way one day. I don't know. Anyways, for now, it's working great. Thank you guys for watching so very much. I sure do appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know what you think uh, about doing the drafts, whether you want to do it, are doing it, or no way, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Old School Peter.